What's up, y'all? All right, good morning. Look, it's muggy as hell in Vegas today. It's cool, though. Temperature's down. It feels like it's like 80 degrees right now, and I'm loving it. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, so today, guys, I told you guys yesterday I'm injured as fuck, right? So I went to Toys R Us. I was picking up, like, this thing, and I was holding it wrong, and it tweaked something on my back, and my back is, like, all fucking screaming at me and shit. <clears throat> good thing is it's not, like, a joint thing. It's not... Like, you know, on my spine or anything like that. It's just, it's just some fucking muscle pain, which is stupid. But I'm um, getting ready to work out here. I just did my first set. Uh, Cause it's, you know, funny thing is now that it's like, I probably shouldn't be working out. My body's like, really want to work out to, <laughs> to kind of like see. Cause here's the thing, man. Like naturally, like obviously assess your injuries. Like if you fucking, if your legs fall off, you probably ain't gonna be doing no goddamn squats, right? Or if it's some like tremendous to where like you break your arm, you're probably not gonna be doing no fucking shoulder press or no arm curl. But I ran into a situation um, way, way back in the day, like 2014, where I got injured. And then I was like, well, oh, I'm injured, so I should just not do nothing, right? Then out of inaction, got depressed, started eating pizza and donuts and cupcakes and shit. And I was like, oh, fuck it. And it was just a downward spiral where I let myself fall. And the sick part about it is right now I feel like I, I injured myself right now or I got hurt or whatever, right? Because who would ever thought I'm holding a toy and fucking, you know, hurt. But I feel like it's a test from life. Life is like how bad you want it. And honestly, the feeling that I have right now, like even though I'm hurt, like could I just rest and not do shit? Sure. But could I still be doing stuff that's not going to aggravate the injury? Absolutely. So today I'm just finding the movements that I can and cannot do. So I'm still going to back squat heavy because uh, when I hold my, my hands in the back squat position, it doesn't seem like it causes any pain at all. Um, and I power clean just fine. I uh, was able to get into the front rack position for front squat, but I don't know yet. So we're just going to have to wait and see uh, how it pans out. So if the next video is in the hospital, y'all know what happened. But again, like I've come too far to only come this far. So no, I'm not gonna fucking rest. I'm not gonna lay around. I'm not gonna not do shit because my fucking pussy hurts. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> the, again, like the biggest thing that I'm finding out, like with the stop being a little bitch thing, is everything comes with the choice. Everybody's faced with the same decisions. You know, I talked about this in a different video, but everybody is faced with the same choices, same decisions, same everything. Same situation, same emotional letdowns, but what matters is at the end of that, what do we do with that? We can decide to be better, decide to push forward, or we can decide to quit. So, anyway, let's get in this work. All right, y'all, we just got done. So, all right, <laughs> like, it's so funny, like, all right, so I was able to front squat, um, but at about 255, my back was like, no. Nah. <laughs> uh-uh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So we got it at 255 today. Um, I was like, I'm not gonna push it, uh, just because my arm, like the way my arms were positioned, um, it, yeah didn't work out but back squat was cool uh, we still got up to 315 uh, which is good and then bench press was what I was most afraid of today because you know just because you know the way that you push I was afraid that my back was not going to agree and for some for some part of it like my back didn't agree with it but I just pushed through it anyway it's like fuck this the last few reps you just gonna get it um, I'm starting to pay for it now like now as my body starts to relax and starting to cool down but the fact of the matter is this, guys. If you can do something, you should do something, okay? If you can, you should. So, uh, I mean, that's the biggest thing. Like, for instance, if you break your left arm, can you still work on your right arm? Absolutely. If you sprain your left ankle, can you still work on your right leg? Probably, if you can do pistols, one leg squats. But, you know what I mean? But there, <laughs> the point is, is you're, if you're still able to do shit, do it. You know what I mean? Don't let little stuff, little tests, little, little dumb shit, get in the way of the core mission that you've set for yourself you know what i mean that i've set for myself 
And honestly, like for me, I feel pretty accomplished because I could have laid down and I could have said, nah, fuck it, I'm hurt, I'm not going to do nothing. But did it anyway. And for me personally, to me, that means a lot. Just because now I know when it's crunch time and the shit matters, I'm still going to put in this work. You know what I mean? Because we got to. Like I said, guys, we come too far to only come this far. So, fuck it. See how I feel when I wake up in the morning. But hey, uh, doing an early video today. Um, it's my daughter's birthday, so yeah, we're gonna have a good time, and uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.